hello guys welcome back to my channel and this is the last one where we have left and we have just created the file and I have just to give an overview of the file in my first tutorial and in the second tutorial we are going to change this animation into this animation okay so how we can do it we are using the JS library as we have I have already told you that is the magic mouse.js so let's get started and let's see how we can change it first of all there are some options for the outer circle for the cursor outer and for the hover effect so there are like cursor basic or dis disable so the outer cursor will be disabled first of all we will do that and uh, let's do that into disable okay now the outer circle that is showing to this dot will be moved so you can only see this one okay and the next one is this next one have the hover effect have the circle move or pointer blur or pointer overlay so these are all, all the options but we are going to do is we will use the pointer blur option to make such animation okay like this one that will be the pointer blur option and uh, as it is as the outer cursor is disabled we will move the height and width okay let's you can see the same effect is there but we have to do we have convert the dart into more circular form so it, it would be more you know visible so for that what we have to do is we have to just send an animation sorry add an css to our you know like you have to give some class to the body like the i'm going to give the cursor custom cursor okay so let's go let's copy this and give the class to it now what will happen our cursor will be the same as this website is using okay so this is the way you can change the things and you can make the elegant animations within seconds so for further modern trends for website and web related trends please subscribe my channel and just like the video and uh, we will be available soon with new trend with new modern video regarding the gsap animation and we will do a lot of work on the animation so take care of yourself in this covid 19 and i hope you will all be fine and see you in the next tutorial bye bye